Spicy like you said. Just like, just like. Is there some chocolate in there? Oh. No, that's a purple. great cake not coming, so. There she is. We can know chocolate. They don't bring for a good candy, Mrs. Cool. Oh, is that like a cinnamon something right over it? No, that's a red jelly ring. Oh, no, that might be cinnamon. Oh, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. That's probably going to like hurt my feelings. Is something that's not going to be? All right, I got the record on. No. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Just letting you know. Oh, there's like. Oh, I smell it. Mm. Oh, here. Cool. Mm. All right, roll call, all present. I even got you some pens, see? You're doing good today. You knew, you knew I had a rough week, didn't you? Uh huh. I knew you needed pens. You didn't ask me for mine, so. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a one-year-old since Friday, so. Oh, jeez. I'm about wore out. Okay. Um. Approval of minutes. We have the minutes from the last meeting. I think those were emailed out to you. Mm -hmm. Anybody see anything that needs to be um, fixed, added, changed, deleted? If not, I'll entertain a motion to accept as we have here. Okay. I second it. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Okay. Accepted. Recognition of guests. We have a guest today. Mm-hmm. So beautiful. Would you like to speak? Oh, no, I'm good. That's Miss House. That's Cedric's wife. Oh, okay. She has uh, the... Uh, <laughs> arts of Grace. Thanks to you. The Arts of Grace, is that right? Mm -hmm. A little Zumba, and she does stuff down here with tap and ballet and... Couple of things, don't you? Jazz. She's always got little kids, man. Doesn't do that. Okay. All right. Reports from committees. Let's see if we have any. Flash pad update. Flash pad update. So um, I was hoping to have you some renderings today, but I don't. So we just uh, um, got with Vortex in today. They sent the stuff over to the engineers. So my first set of engineers. So he's trying to put the pump type stuff in there. So. Hopefully by maybe next week, and I realize that they just got back, so we're free. So they just got back, and they're getting everything now. So hopefully by next weekend, I should be able to have that. Once I get it, I'll try to scan it, send it to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and um, send it to the state anyway, so we can go ahead and get it working with the state, because that can take two to six to eight weeks, who knows. So I'm ready to put a shovel on the ground. But uh, so that's where we're at on that. So we're we're almost there. It's just a matter of uh, a meeting with uh, Carly Marie or something, which is a new girl's name, next week um, with Vortex, trying to finish up some of the PO type stuff we got to work on and all that. Um, Victoria, did uh, she give you the stuff for MPV? No, I think I'm gonna meet with her. Maybe Loretta's gonna help get you to work on that the week after next or something. It's national uh, purchasing maybe. power or something, but anyway, save five percent. So that's where we're at. Splash pad. It, it's moving. We're going the right direction. Okay. Budget information. Budget information was the stuff that I gave you all last time. I've still got that list. I'm still um, looking into that. I'm, I'm going to work on most of that stuff. The main stuff I go get is what you talked about as far as. Uh, um, the ball field, the chip and seal, the oil and seal, whatever. I'm trying to get a price estimate on that. So, But just keeping that on there, budget info, if there's anything else that you guys think that we need to add that people are asking for in the community or something that I'm not aware of that's not on that list from last time. My list was pretty long. Um, let's try to get that in, and that way these aren't due until like April anyway. But So we got about another two more months to kind of brainstorm but I'm basically taking that list I'm just looking at my budget from last year we're going really good this year but that's because a lot of them trying to maneuver around like I said before for the splash because we're going to get this thing done one way or another so um, <clears throat> so just kind of looking at that and I'm kind of um, 
put in some other options, um, possibly like a maintenance type person um, between maybe the, um, you know, Steve's team down there or whatever. Just someone that can really, you know, when I look at a community center, um, I think that it's a great building. I think it's actually nicer than City Hall at times, could be. But then again, I look at the landscaping out there, I think it's horrible. <laughs> so I want to put in money into the budget for that because that's a big pride thing that we have. And as I go to some of these conferences, I, I go and visit other people's places, I see that they have their um, city maintenance staff or someone that's with Parks and Rec really taking care. One thing that I think we do a... <laughs> A credit job at, I guess is what I would say, is that when you look at what all of our different parks and the different things we're doing, um, whose responsibility is it really? I mean, if they want to put down my job description, that's fine, but you look at trash cans not being dumped at the city parks and different things like that, or they're doing them once every two or three weeks, and I got to argue on why they put a bag in there. Just put a stinking bag in there, you know, put it in my butch, I don't really care. But... We need trash cans. We need to make sure we're changing those out in the different parks. And so if I need to get my staff on that, that's fine. I can do that, but I need to budget that. Or my idea of it is, is when we're looking at the budget for next year, is putting in an extra person. Maybe it works with city maintenance some, but then they work with us 20 or 25 hours a week, and they're doing that landscaping type stuff that's outside the community center. I mean, when was the last time that, you know, you guys look and walk around that track that's over there, I understand half of it's owned by the county or whatever, I guess, and half of it's owned by us, but it's horrible looking. We got grass growing out of the sidewalks. That's supposed to be our pride and joy. It's not. Uh, and it's starting to bother me now because I look in the parking lot and we got grass growing in the, you know, we, yeah, we can spray it for weeds, but spraying it ain't going to do nothing. You got to go out there and you got to chisel it up. And if they're going to be short staffed and I want someone hired for next year that can really work on that type of stuff. You look at even Gardenia. I mean, they've got places up there. Um, why are we not lining up against the sidewalks and edging and stuff like that? And that's what makes a, um, I think, a park system to have pride. You know, we're putting a lot of money into things right now, and things are starting to move in the right direction. You look at over at uh, Howard Field, for instance, um, and I've brought it up several times already, but we trash cans are maybe dumped. we got just junk laying around. You know, I just spent $10,000, and the city spent $10,000 on a new, um, you know, the concession stand out there. Scout Hut's almost done. Um, so I just want to make sure that we're, you know, we're looking at the landscaping, and it's not just blow the grass and cut the grass. It's not just about cutting grass. It's about making the parks look good. I want to start taking more pride in what I want from you all is to help me with that and push that. So when we're asking for this in the future, I mean, if I'm being dumb, then I'm being dumb, then tell me now. But I don't think I am. I think we really need to take, and we need to push that to the commission. See, why well, not already part of our stuff? Yeah, why, yeah, why, yeah. why do they not, we already have city trash cans there, yeah, the big blue ones. Yeah, there's the city park trash. And, you know, I brought that up several times, and because those are the ones that were supposed to be used, according to what the ordinance says, whatever, that those are supposed to be used for home or whatever. Now, I do have several out there at, like, your park. I get them brought over there, and then I'm supposed to call and let them know when they need to pick them up. No, just go and pick them up. It should be on the route. I mean... Yeah, so look at the dog park. So yesterday I get a phone call. Um, no, it wasn't a phone call. It was, uh, who was I talked to? It was Jason that owns um, AxMap. He was in chamber meeting. And he asked me, he's like, hey, look, no one's said anything on Facebook about this, but the trash cans over at the dog park are starting to overflow. And I was like, oh, man, it's totally my fault. He's like, why is that your fault? I was like, well, because I'm the one that usually goes there and changes them. He's like, that's stupid. He said, so the parks director, you're going up there and changing dog so cans. No business has a big blue trash can. Do I know? No business yes. has a big blue trash can? Probably well, bank does. Pretty much, that's it. I got we one over there. So we got a big dumpster behind the car lot. I got yeah, one over there I mean, right we now. Have to purchase them. I mean, I know like they pay for them monthly on yeah, whatever maybe. utility bill. Mm -hmm. But if we had to purchase that that blue trash can to put at least at the at the dog park where they would pick it up. Right I do have one out there now. So there is one out there, but our little doggy trash can. So I go over there and I change those out. My idea with it, and I just need to. Uh, 
I guess what I really need to do is I, I tried to talk to our maintenance division, but I really need to get Kate on board with it, is that when the truck drives by, it takes four minutes. Go over there, put some gloves oh, on, take that long. change out the two <laughs> poop bags, and because they don't like the idea that I have the blue trash can over there right now, because what happens is they say, well, you take those it's poop bags out, you throw them in the back of the truck, and then the truck scraper brings it up, and then it stinks back there. Okay, well, I'm sorry. It's a trash well, truck. I mean, there are probably a thousand dirty diapers in your trash can. <laughs> I get it. But that's the, What's uh, the, difference in human poop that's the answer I'm think? getting. Uh, so, and, and it's something like what that. I, I really need to, uh, going into next year, I just want to take more pride in that type of stuff. And, and like I said, I get behind driving around trying to pick up trash cans. I think in the past, there's not ever been, nobody really knew, like, whose job it was. I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, occasionally, when they run the routes, they do empty the trash occasionally. Occasionally. But we... So you got that color on. i got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever really known whose job it was. And I'm sorry, but when you have ball games and things going on, you can't empty the trash once a week. It right. has to be... Right. Right. There should be a Every schedule... Day. So if there, you know, if there's ten events going on ten days straight, you can't empty the trash once. Right. And nobody ever really. We used to have to carry the trash from the concession area no, at Howard Field. I still carry my trash. I still carry my trash every to, day. What is that? College North College. Whatever I have that to carry mine to a dumpster. Yeah. But I mean, and then they brought a dumpster over mm -hmm. for us. We used that for a while during the the, the uh -huh. busy season. Then they wouldn't come empty the dumpster. Mm -hmm. Like it would be okay. And because the everybody else puts their trash in the dumpster. Exactly. We went there one and time that's why, in our dumpster. That's yeah. why <laughs> moving forward, like I said, I you know I steal. I, I am I'm borrowing from our maintenance side, but we need to put. When I first came here, we had that guy James that kind of did a lot of that, and he kind of disappeared. He kind of. Well, I think it needs to be on a scheduled. Why? Route, I mean, like why? It literally route. would take like two or three extra minutes because there are houses in front and by every ball field. That's right. That gets well, people. Why here we came, Here's what we ran into with the new blue dump, uh, trash cans at the DCU field the last year I was there. If they wasn't pulled out to the street, mm -hmm. heavens mm -hmm. forbid, they get off so, the back of the truck to go pull them. What I'll do just to and try to fix that back. for right now. <laughs> Is maybe I'll see if we can purchase those big bags that we've been we use for the Thunder Over Murray, and we'll put those in there, and then they can just pull those when they start getting a quarter full or whatever, and put them in the budget and put them in all the parks. Because um, right now we borrow the ones I use over there at Bar Brewer. If you Brewer. tie those bags up and you set them out, they're going to be destroyed and scattered everywhere. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. To leave them in the can. So you leave them in the can, and, and you, I mean, because we don't yeah, have. Yeah, but them. if they don't come pick them up and eat time off, people just well, that, that, throw stuff on top that's of them. That's where my issue is, and that's why I want to look at: Do we need to put like a more of a seasonal type person on? It's 20, 25 hours a week and 15 hours down there, whatever, doing some of those things because um, the trash cans build up, and right now I get Clark and Kane, Kane over there a lot. Picking up my stuff over there by the center, um, and it, but, you know. I mean, I thought though, and of course I'm new as a commissioner, and I've never been on Parks and Rec till I've been on this Parks and Rec. Yeah, you know? but I thought as a city and a uh, municipality, that's where I was going. <laughs> that you that you your groups work together, you know. So I don't expect somebody from City Hall to get out there and and prune the flowers and do that. That's somebody from. We have, we, have, I mean, that's, we have that department. That's we right. should not have to hire and take and care of They should also take care of Parks and Rec because yes. that's part of our city. Oh, we do. Good. And so I guess we're at the pool is that when I came on board, especially, we started doing more. You know, Parks and Rec is doing more than what we've, and, and we're adding more. We've got the center, we've got this. So they might need another person to make this part. I, I, I agree. I agree with you. Yeah. And so I just need to try to find a way of. Um, I mean, I'm we, not saying you don't need the seasonal budget. maintenance person, but they shouldn't be picking up the trash. We have people that that's their job. I, have to trash. I, I don't live in the city, but I thought the truck picked the can up. It, it does. does. It does. 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 All that person do gets the stuff that's not in the can or it's decided it or falls it. out. Yeah. And there's people that, like, we should not have to use our 20, our dollars to pay a group that's already paid with city that. money. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying the whole maintenance person isn't needed because we don't have the landscaping person, I don't think. I mean, I know what gets done up here, yeah. but, but that's... <laughs> 
Why um, can't it get done at this other place? Yeah, yeah. See, they're doing it here. You know what I mean? And I know that. So, I'll, I'll, Steve. I, I meet with Kate next week. I'm down on her schedule. So, so Steve, I'll bring that board. up. And that's just where, I again, I think what's happened is when I kind of came on board, I was stealing people. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I get the, you know, we're short staffed a lot over there. We are. Um, you know, but we should and, be on a rotation, 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 maintenance rotation. route, yeah. and even a mowing route. Would Sometimes rotate, amen, or whatever. Because they would mow, and and you know, and it would take a genius to mow. I mean, <laughs> but you don't <laughs> blow the grass trimmings into the infield, and you weed it, and they don't. Right. Well, what we're talking about over there, you know, it's kind well, of, you know, <laughs> when the season does start out there on Barker and Brewer, one thing that I hear a lot is, um, hey, why can't we get these fields mowed? Why can't we get these fields mowed? And I bring that up. Um, and the bottom line is this, is, and, and I hear this from some of our staff in the city, but they'll be like, why is our, it's our responsibility? Because we're a city. We're a city. Our job is to supply. We have a park. And we take what, care of the fields because they didn't know how to do the I know we're kind of old-fashioned here, but we, gotta, we are a park. Mm-hmm. And our, my job is to supply fields for people to use, for associations to use, mm-hmm. um, parks, sidewalks, trash cans, swing sets. That's what we do. That's, That's why it. we're here. That's but why there we is exist. one field that the city of Mount Pleasant will not touch, even though, I don't know if it's in writing as long as I've had anything to do with the Dixie Youth, is the one right next to the um, nursing home that North has the backstop. That is a practice field with the Dixie Youth. I agree. Youth, but they and will not they touch it because they, they, they said it's not city property. They will I occasionally, know. if I go out there with them, and I just say I've had to do that, mm-hmm. I've had to ask them to bring me a lawnmower, and I take the lawnmower myself, and I've mowed that probably mm-hmm. three or four times. Mm-hmm. Now, when it doesn't get mowed, that's why, because I wasn't out right. there. And I mow a section but, of like, it. We've even had, like, which I don't know who the owner is. Whose property is but it? But it belongs it to the nursing home. home. But this is the they point. Just let us use the point they is, let us is why should the nursing in. home let you use it if we're not going to mow it? Well, I agree. That's right. 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 a very <laughs> inexpensive price to pay to be able to use the property. Yes. I mean, that's I'll say that all the time. And maybe I just don't know. What department does grass mowing fall under? Street works. That's your street division. Street division. We call it here at street and trash division. Street and trash, and they're they're together. Mm-hmm. Street and trash division. Okay. okay. And I, I mean, I. Sanitation. There you go. Sanitation. And is that the yeah. correct name of it? Yeah, street and okay, sanitation. Okay. So when you're saying people <laughs> have issues, because I don't know that I've ever seen Steve Renfro have an issue with anything. He is one of the hardest working men I've he ever. He is the hardest working man I know. So <laughs> is it the his workers yeah, that have having issues? Mm-hmm. Then if I think the, it's the new workers, workers it's where that's what I'm thinking. Like if I'm complaining every day. Then I don't need to teach biology at Mount Pleasant High School. Yeah, I, I think it's more the workers that, me. where I've gone out there before and where they say they take four hours to mow that whole entire area out there. So what I did once last year is I said, okay, this is how we're going to do this. Go get me a lawnmower, and you get a lawnmower. Put your cell phone away. I put my cell phone away. And we mowed those fields in an hour and like 17 minutes. Mm-hmm. Is what it took us, two people. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of times they're using three and four people. Mm-hmm. But then I went out there another day. And I, I brought have push mode Howard Field, and it didn't take. Four yeah, and there was there was <laughs> one guy. I can mow the um, field in like thirty five minutes. Yeah. There was one guy, Sam, which they brought him back. Yeah, and I know him back on. But he told me. And he was in the back of the truck and, and wouldn't weed. Like, yeah. We well, got it because I Steve didn't tell him to do it. Yeah, he should have played weedy. They should have. There needs to be a job description, and they need to know what's expected at each park. The problem is, Parks and Rec is like Thomas said, fairly new. Okay, and the same guys that are in the street and sanitation department were there before Parks and Rec got kind of new and they were getting paid to do that work before we got here and now we're asking them to do more for the same. Right. Yeah. And that's what comes in. So I'll get with Kate. I mean that's That's the problem. I don't know exactly what the problem is. It makes more sense for me to actually go to Kate and try to sit down with her and say okay moving forward into the spring I want to really get these We need parts to tell them what we want. Looking better, <laughs> and this is how they need to be looking. Well, and I think we also need to, if, if they say no or she says no, we need a, a why. Like, why yeah. would this person or this group get it or this field or this whatever in parts and rec not? Like, what's the why behind that? And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I hear about it from when your people are over there, when your people and your people are over there. You just don't know the number The dog park people, people over motivated. there. Um, the community center, someone brought that up to me a while back. They said, you got so many activities going on over here. They said, but it's just when you look at the grass out front, you look at the sidewalks, it's just, bleh. Well, and, and the one thing about the city and at the ballparks as well 
is lots of times there are people that are outside of our community coming in, mm -hmm. and their first and yeah, and that's first their impression. first impression. Well, what do you expect from outside? Well, especially when you're when you're renting that what you facility over that? there and you see grass growing out of the things and stuff like that. I mean, if I need to put people in my budget to do it, but we have people like you said to do it. I just need. I to just get really think that they that we need to say okay, like at Gardenia Park, this is what we need. Mm -hmm. January through May. This is what we need. May through September. Okay. And this I agree with and, and, that. And, and this is what we need. Trash empty twice a week or three times a week. Or no. an event. Have the trash empty. And and, and I don't know. If, I mean, I'm not. I know you have a lot to do, and maybe that's something we can do. But I mean, and we need to be the people, or someone needs to be checking that. I mean, no. making sure it's happening, so we can go back to Kate and she can go to Steve and say, okay, January it happened. These things. Mm -hmm. February it did not. This mm -hmm. didn't happen. This didn't happen. This yeah. didn't happen in March. You know, because if they're not held accountable, they're going to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to tell you something that, that's happened a bunch of times at the ball field. They only mow on a Thursday. And if it rained on a Thursday, they didn't mow till the next Thursday. Yeah. Well, you can't wait a week. Right. Yep. And, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I just want to take more pride yeah. in what yeah. we're doing. I, I look at Mount Pleasant, and we're moving forward. We really are. Um, we'll get to this in a second that Victoria put together for us. But... Um, we're really moving forward, and I just want to be, you know, when I went to Chattanooga for my conference, I toured some of their, you know, I took a little bit of time off and went through some of their parks. One of the things that really made me mad was they're on it. They were doing that. I mean, it's like, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm like, oh, suck at this. <laughs> but, you know, like, we're not as good at this as they are, and they really took pride, even though they had this little skate park. It was kind of downtown. They had some factory-type stuff around it. That wasn't looking good, but when you went to the skate park in the city, I mean, it was top notch. I mean, oh, is that over by the river? Yes, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, and it's right down there where the Marriott. Yeah. When you get off, where I was going to the Marriott, and it was beautiful, right? But there was some little bit of factory yeah. type stuff around it, and then you get into the skate park area. And I'm thinking, it's I want to be like that. Like it doesn't fit there. Like it, you're right, <laughs> it does. And so I look at that, and my perception is, is I want to be like that. You know, what I want to do is I want to take my, so when I used to run Chuck Cheese restaurants, I was a thief. I'd go into another restaurant, I'd look to see what someone else was doing that might be different. Maybe it's not my way, because I always think my way is the right way, but if you're doing something different and it works, I'm going to take that idea. <laughs> because I want to make it look, and that's what I look at when I go to these different parks. I take that idea and I say, we need to do a better job. Anything that's visually... Is yeah. more and that's why I brought it up for the budget. So let me see if I can do it the way that what you're talking well, about. I, I really think what I'm thinking. If you know, we have so much work to do to our parks and so many things we want. The splash pad, gardenia, um, arrow mines. I mean, and if we're spending our dollars paying someone to do the job that we're already paying someone else to do, then that those are yeah. things we can't put in our parks. We just gotta get. And Steve will be on board with it. I think it's getting. Steve's not the No, he, I mean, again, he's not if I idiot. had to say number it's, one, yeah, don't tell my husband I said that, because no, no. he thinks he's the hardest working person in the city. Well, no, see, it's the, the, it's the, well, it's the accountability he's side. Yeah. It's the accountability <laughs> side of getting the people that would be accountable. This is how you can do it. Yeah. Either do it or get out. And, and, and we worry about that sometimes around here because it's down, but I don't really care. I mean, find You're people who want to do it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you know that because you want to chick And the city used to hire teenagers to help during peak seasons to work. Absolutely. Seasonal work. And I will say this. One of the reasons that worked is because they played on those fields and they knew how to take care of those fields and they knew the pride that's involved in those fields. You take pride when it's your field. Yeah. And I think, too, with some of this, that, and I'm going to see the other side of it, is that the city workers don't know. Maybe not. They you know, yeah. nobody not, they not always you did. need to do this. Uh -huh. I mean, in the past, all we had, because before when the city wasn't worried about the park, it was up to whichever organization was using it to, to, fix to mow it, to maintain it. And, and if it didn't look good, it wasn't on the city, it was on you or right. this group or that yeah, group. I think a lot of the workers really don't know what to do. They just kind of like... Because I have had guys that came over that would actually mow, weed eat, and help me carry the trash, you know, to wherever, to the dumpster or out to the street or wherever we had to take it. And I've had others that would say, you know, they would sit on the mower and say, that's not my job. Yeah. And, so and I'm, fine with the, the, I'm fine with doing the tell show, do review method, you know, and that's what we used to mm. do with Chuck E. Cheese. You know, you, you tell them how to do them, you show them how to do it. I do it with them, yeah, you I'm review it with them, and you make sure they understand it. Mm -hmm. And I can do that to every single part. 
That takes all of an hour with your staff and say, hey, we're going to do this this day. Mm -hmm. This week we're going this part. This week we're going this part. We go out there. It's how I want and to And I look. think we need to look at the routes, too, because just because you pick up First Avenue on this day, you know, maybe if you do, if College Street's another day, you might need to hit that park twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in the summertime when you've got concessions going on and yeah. stuff like that. It's just... You know, get there. So anyway, okay. I, I'll, I'll work on that. That is something I kind of brought up. I kind of put it towards the budget info, but and I need to try to get, um, you know, and I'll work with Kate on that kind of moving forward. Main Street. Okay. Community center floors. Community center floors. So if you have time in the next week or so, come over and check out my floors. <laughs> my floors look amazing. So. Well, I'm um, sure glad somebody brought that to your attention. So we, uh, well, that, that was again. It was a. <laughs> Something that wasn't really in the budget, but we fixed it in the budget and we moved money around from somewhere else. So what we're going to do for next year is me and Kate, are, as we're moving forward with the commission, and it'll be more money, but um, twice a year I think we need to get, if you go and look at West Hand side right now, you won't even, you'll think I repainted those floors. Why don't you take a picture and put it on our Facebook page? Okay, there we go. I'll do that. I'll tweet it out. Um, <laughs> you can make a sign that says that. But the left hand side and the um, in the middle floors, they look great. So they did we did that during um during Christmas break and I pulled the strings and kinda, of, you know, aired it out and told Victoria not to book anybody in it and we got them done. But again it's just one of those things, it's a need. Um, and Clark and them were even in there scrubbing certain places. They broke a scrub brush on me, they're scrubbing so hard. Um, but you know they're willing to do the cleaning too. So it looks great. You know, so and we're just gonna have to put that in the budget for next year if and it needs to be twice stripped. A year. Twice a year. Twice a year I went west high on side done for sure and in the middle sections buffed, waxed, whatever. You know, hey, he, he did a great job. That on can be like a shout out for the daddy daughter dance. Mm -hmm. um, dance on our brand new floors, look how great they are. Yep. I'm telling Moving you on, on new right. business. You said, but you else yeah, so splash pad renderings. I got some stuff on my computer, but they're not 100% done yet, so they're, they're still working on those. Okay, wait. What you did? You get some money that you need to report? Did I get what now? Some money from the splash pad for the splash pad? Yes, I got. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I got that on there. Well, I got it on there. Okay. I got it on there somewhere. There you go. So we got the uh, <laughs> money from the benefit ball. Hey, hey. So that is in. It's in the. Uh, um, we, we showed it in. Was it on this before? You know. Did we ever put that in here? I know we put it on Facebook. So Missy shared it and I thank shared it on ours. So we got the three thousand dollars. So thank you to the benefit ball. Nice. That's going to be used for hopefully uh, it will be used for another component. And I'm working with the high school on the second component right now. One up, one piece is sitting down there right now. Um, have you seen that? The tree. I saw it on, on in have you seen it out the back window. Yeah, we're going to put it in there. So I'm working, just so you know what I'm doing on that, if you go over there and you see that the high school is laying down right now, so to make it so it's easier for them to paint, I've got Terry um, with the maintenance department. I talked with him this morning, and he's going to build me some casters. I just ordered the wheels. We're going to put it on casters so it's up so they can actually paint it and not have to have it straight up and down. Um, what's your name? Who's the art director or teacher? Um, Kate Finn. No, the uh, the oh, lady. Leanne Ripple. Um, yeah, she was, she loved me, man. She came with her and gave me a big oh, hug. Oh, this is great. We're going to make this look really good. So, um, <laughs> she'll be in charge of painting it, so I'm going to try to get with her in the next week or so. That gives them something to do over the next several weeks while we're waiting. And um, hopefully the tiger piece is supposed to be coming out. I haven't seen anything on that yet. And so I'll start jumping them again um, this week trying to find out where we're on that. So that'll be the second piece and the third component piece they're supposed to be working on as well. So... Hoping to have those done pretty quickly. Okay. Dixie Youth Discussion. Dixie Youth Discussion. So I get this phone call the other day <laughs> from Mr. Cedric. <laughs> um, and I'm going to let you kind of bring up what you got going on because I didn't go to the meeting. I couldn't make it over there on Sunday night. I had some, I was dealing with a splash pad actually with this new lady. So I was on the phone with her for an hour and yeah. a half. So what I, I brought Thomas' attention was if uh, parks and Rec took over Dixie Youth. Um, most cities have Parks and Recs over it. Uh, it's ran better um, because the city typically knows how to run it like a business and you have more competent people um, running and calling the shots. Uh, the city will make more money off of it because they run the concession stands, they do everything. Parks and Recs will make all the money off of it. 
Um, uh, so I told him, I said, I think it would be a great idea for the, the Parks and Recs to stick it over. And the biggest thing was a lot of kids do travel ball, mm -hmm. but the ones that don't can't afford that, they don't have anything to do. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, I, I feel like those kids will be left behind with nothing to do. And we have fields over there sitting up and just growing up. So if Parks and Recs stick it over, we'll have people in the community that can uh, still have their kids play baseball. And I think it'll run a lot smoother if we do that. What would that entail, Thomas? Would Parks and Recs take that over? So if we discussed that in the past. And, and another thing I'll throw in with Cedric, and, and I feel um, his pain over there. Um, what happens a lot of times, you got to realize, these people that run it, they have a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And so they're out there mowing grass because we can't. <laughs> right, right. Um, you know, they're, they're spending a lot of time cleaning bathrooms and doing different things. My concern with it is, is if we move in that direction, I explained that to him, is again, when it comes down to what we were just talking about, i got to have more support um, from this side of the city because that means um, I don't care if it's 2.30, it's not quitting time. Mm -hmm. If we got to put lines down, then someone's got to put those lines down on the field. So what like Loretta does, Loretta has um, a lot of cities, um, and I'll back up a little bit, I, he's right, a lot of cities do run it, but what the cities run, they don't run the whole division. So you have an association like Dixie Youth that will run the actual association. So let's say I sit down with their board and I say, okay, how much does it cost for you if you had 100 kids on your team this year? How much does it cost for insurance, to pay for t-shirts, minus your sponsorships, all that? Okay, we need um, $35 a head. Okay, it's what they would need. But let's just say I'm just saying $35 a head. The city recuperates the rest of that money and then we get the money off of concessions. So we run concessions. Who pays the umpires? We do. The city would have to pay umpires. So what you do is you find out exactly what they need without bankrupting without bankrupting the association. Now you understand that you gotta have money for trophies and but there's no need for the association to have nine, ten, eleven, twelve thousand dollars in their account. So then what the city does is the city's in charge of in the future putting up new fences, putting new dirt down and doing different things like that. That way there's money coming through the city. Yeah, the first year, from what the commission is going to see, is going to be a loss. Mm -hmm. it, it is. It's going to be a loss. There's no other way around it. But in the future, um, you got Loretta that's making twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight thousand dollars a year just off their concessions alone. Mm -hmm. After they pay for their staff, um, but they're lining fields. That means you might have to have a seasonal person that you hire or someone from maintenance staff, whatever, lining fields on a Saturday, you know, or um, because you're kind of, the association's controlling who's doing the fields. I give you guys the fields, but we are in charge, the city would be in charge of lining the fields, mowing the fields, um, okay. doing the cleaning, concessions, the upkeep and all that. Um, yeah, you guys are in charge of putting your trash in the trash cans or whatever, but at the end of the day, that's how a lot of cities do it. Because what is, again, one thing I guess I'm trying to, I think some people understand and some people don't understand is, our job as a city, my job as a Parks and Recreation Director, and why we exist is because we do that. That's what we do. We provide a facility. Mm -hmm. You know, are we a money-making business? No, I'm not a bank. You know, I'm not a restaurant. You know. I mean, does Columbia do they, they do that at Fairview? Columbia does it also with Ridley Park. So mm -hmm. the way Ridley Parks ran is that they have, like the soccer association, runs all the soccer. Now, they actually have a different group, different group, because Columbia didn't want to run concessions, right. they have yeah, yeah. somebody else running concessions. You can do it that way too. Right. Is there a way, and I mean, I'm not sure that we can get there there this year, but is there a way to like get like what Columbia does and maybe what Loretta does and what different places, and maybe even like like I said, more Loretta because they're more comparable to the our size. Right. So we and and I'll get with Loretta and I'll get with Mac Reagan on that, and I know what both of them basically do, but I'd like to see if they're having someone do concessions how do they contract that out? Normally what they do is you get a percentage. So the city would get 20% mm -hmm. um, and then, or they get 20% and they're still responsible to pay for the rest. Yeah. Um, I mean, cause I just feel like, you know, if you go to Dixie Youth who's had, they've had a different group of people for the last like 20 years, three or four years here, four or five years here. Mm -hmm. um, but if you went to that group and said, okay, this is, these are some options where I feel like we can both 
benefits from this. You still have your, I mean, we're not taking your league from you. We're trying to help you while it helps us and helps the city. They want us to take the league. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know. <laughs> they, they, they want. Okay, that, that. they do. <laughs> this group does. But yeah. in four or five years, there may be another group that says, oh, well, I did this 15 years ago with my son. I want to now do it with my grandson. Yeah. But, I mean, I just, I always feel like if you have options or you can show them different things instead of just saying, coming in. Here it is. That's the way it's going to be done. And that's where the discussion could be yeah. with us sitting down with them. And I think what I want to look at is going into next year. So mm -hmm. I can't fix it this year, mm -hmm. but going into the following year, what's a way that we can do that to where we can budget in for that um, and we start? Because a lot of times what, what we're hearing, and in, in just recently, I don't know what happened to the money, but $10,000 got misappropriated. We're just mm -hmm. going to put it that way. Okay. So that $10,000 could have been used for other things, mm -hmm. putting new fences up. But whose responsibility is that? Technically, technically, it's the city. Yeah. The city should. I mean, that's just me personally. As I talk to other cities and stuff, no, Thomas, that's your responsibility. It's not their responsibility. You need to take some of that away from them to where you guys are actually running that, where they're paying you more money or whatever, and then all they need to have enough money for is to pay for you know, and again, they get money for sponsorships. Mm -hmm. So the sponsorships come in, so that could be paying for T-shirts and insurance. And maybe if you're charging $65 a head, every $65 a head comes back to the city to pay for the umpires mm -hmm. and things like that and dirt and stuff and then concession well, I'm money. I'm telling you, from years of being involved, if you want to come run the concession and pay the umpires and do all that, I would be saying yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the hardest thing to Absolutely. get concession workers and pay umpires. I mean, there's right. nights that I've paid umpires out of my pocket. Yeah, and that's <laughs> when you have to have seasonal type people. I mean, I'd have to have enough people to be able to handle that and a staff to be able to uh, right. to do some of that until 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. And that's why... 8, 39, you better be... But it could be later than that. 11. But in that way, the facility is, is kept up the right way because I know, I guarantee you, you don't like that the way it looks over there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a disaster. When I walked in there the other day, it's just not... But do we need to put money into it? Yes. We need to add money into that concession area. Well, and you it, also don't have a group that has $10,000 in their account using fields that they don't want to help at all on mm -hmm. because they're mad at this group or they think they want to yep. are eventually going to get to do this for, you know, I mean, I just feel like we have too much in this city where this group's working for them, and this group's working yep. for them, and that It goes on a lot of places, and that's why, that's why cities are moving more towards what I'm looking at trying to do, where we work with them a little bit more, because at the, the end of the day, one thing that you're going to argue with, and I hear this from all different cities all the time, one thing I argue with a lot is the commissioners, is why is ours, it is our responsibility. It is. It's our responsibility as a city to put a street in for you to drive down. Mm -hmm. It's our responsibility to have parks and rec. It's just our responsibility. The fence needs to be repaired. Why are they paying for it? It's our responsibility. It's our property. It's our responsibility to pay for it. And I know I'm kind of stern on that, but I listen to other people. And when I go to these conferences, Parks and Rec is, is evolving really big right now. And in Tennessee is huge. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really making a big push for that on more places for people to live. And they want to have fun and dog parks and all that. Well, I mean, if the dog park fence falls down, if I have a dog, it's not my responsibility to go put a tent right. up. Right. Yeah. Just exactly. Just I have a dog. And that's yeah. a very big plus. I just talk to people there. So, but I'll work with that on on the different, you know, trying to um, put that all in the plan for Dixie Youth. And like I said, I'm meeting with Kate next week. I'll have a whole. It's my review, but it usually turns into a um, this type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so if the city takes this over, or the park department takes this over, how hard is it truly going to be if something is needed over there? Because in the past there was bleachers or stuff that was needed and the city was supposed to do it and we had to do it on our own. So, so again, that's that why, really gonna be? that's where, um, this is where, Man, that should this. Be this is where I need to get myself maybe, um, I got to learn, well, I am a fighter, but because um, I get fussed at a lot, but that's where I agree with you. I'm 100% with you. My job as a Parks and Recreation Director, for if, if you want me to do my job, my job is to provide that. Now, there's a certain standpoint where you can't say, Abel can't come to me and say, I want a, uh, a, um, a, a water park. Okay, come, we got to be real. And, and what's our phases? So one thing the state brought up to me um, like two years ago, is, hey, you're a new director. you got to start talking them into putting fifty to $100,000 back every year, and you're using it for stuff like that. Um, and I'll get to that in just a second. They're very happy with where we're at. But 
where we're moving towards, you're right. That is, that's a, uh, but when we're working on the budgets, and when I brought up that budget I just brought up, if bleachers is something we need to add to it, then we need to, you know, let me know what kind of bleachers you want, how much they are, and maybe we phase that in for the next two to three years where if I ask for $26,000 in bleachers, that's not going to happen. But if I go to commission and say, this is what we got, and I've got six or seven of y'all pushing for that too, when we're working on budgets, that's how you get more. Um, and that is our, and that's where I think they're, it's always been confusing. Again, we're new. Um, you guys have been around for a long time, the board, and I understand it because when I first came here, I saw that. When, when I first came here, I'm thinking, wait a minute, that's the city's responsibility, but that's something I'm teaching them, and you got to look at what other people do. Sometimes the associations help out, but if you got, um, that's where the money needs to go a different way, like what we're talking about, because that way we're responsible. Because otherwise what happens, somehow $10,000 that miss. If I got to go in there and teach somebody how to make money in a concession stand, it's real simple. Mm -hmm. You know, I pay 17 cents for a Coke, mm -hmm. um, but if you don't pay the bill, then you're buying your Cokes from Sam's. Mm -hmm. You know, you should be getting our Pepsis from right down the street. Mm -hmm. You know, and they should be providing my cooler, <laughs> you know, and everything I need from it because they know they're going to get the check from me. That's right. Or they know they're going to invoice the city, it's going to get taken care of. Well, what she's talking about is the inspector, codes inspector. Mm -hmm took our bleachers because they said they were not up to cold. Mm -hmm. Then tells us that the metal bleachers on Barker Field are not up to code and that they need backs on them and feet kickers. Mm -hmm. So take one set of bleachers that was literally three feet high, completely takes them away, and mm -hmm. one you're telling us needs backs on them, and then nothing's ever done about them. Well, we need, we need beautiful ballparks, bottom line. <laughs> I need nice trash cans out there. I, mean, I know you say put blue ones out there, but no, forget that. This I want the, how much are those trash cans, Victoria? Mm -hmm. $300 for a nice one? Start. $600. I don't care how much. Well, we have if we need six of them in a ballpark, we need six of them in a ballpark. you got to budget them in. Because I, I understand it. the whole idea meeting, about the blue yeah, trash can. Commission cans, meetings, and we're trying um, to push for these. Let's new make things. our parks look. You know, let's put a real trash can out there. I'll also be sitting right there, and he can bark down us all day long. <laughs> and after it's over <laughs> with, there we go. So, okay, what's next? They need so, y'all here to but show. But I did come to a commission. We had a benefit sponge ball tournament mm -hmm. and raised enough money to buy the two sets of bleachers and a riding line more, and we pay for them for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So there's money that comes through there. That's why I think it's better so in the future that money, because then what happens, let's say that was from six years ago, I wasn't here, and we bought all this type of stuff, and then the lawnmower disappears, mm -hmm. this disappears. It needs to be a city asset. So down the road, any money that's coming through there, which is I'm trying to push for, um, I, I want to see that happen, to be honest with you. You know, we to kind of look for but that. you came one time whenever you needed to. That's what I'm saying. It's all the times that when we come here and we meet the desire for Parks and Rec, Twitter, the commission looks like it's Thomas. Okay. Gotcha. And I and I've said for because this is our this is what Thank our, our <laughs> this is what our audience looks like when we have a commission meeting because don't nobody care. Don't nobody care about Parks and Rec. It's just Thomas because there ain't nobody out of here that shows up to go. Hey. I yes, I do it. care. Yeah. So I need more than just y'all. Need to tell everybody that plays on these parks. Everybody that wants what we say we want you need to come and show Bill White and Dolores Blankenship, Mike Davis, Jack McGrenberry, and myself that it's truly important to you. And it's just not us seven saying, we want this. Yeah. It's the community saying. It's the community that wants it. But then get other people from your, um, your like from Dixie Youth and stuff like that to come to those meetings. I just talked to somebody at the dog park tonight. And I said, come to a commission meeting every once in a while. Me too. And, and, and if I'm doing something wrong, tell me. You know, or tell how can I do better? <laughs> you can. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I know she will. I don't know. I don't really think this is a bad thing at all for the person who's sitting over the ball so I make sure we have people behind us that know how to fight. Absolutely. Well, and I think one thing we can do, because I mean, we're not, like you said, doing, taking it over this year, mm -hmm. is with something like that, we can do some walkthroughs and say, okay, Absolutely. We take it over. This, will be. this is what we need. I mean, yeah. we kind of said what we wanted at part. And I say partnership with, not use the word takeover. Yeah. Like you know, but now we need to say, okay, this is what we want. So there are needs at some of these places. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously some construction issues and yeah. some stuff we got to do. 
in there. And I know the pain because I, I go through there and I watch these guys and girls out there mowing the grass at 2.30, 3 o'clock, trying to get off early. Your husband's out there a lot, running and trying to get gas and pulling the golf cart, whatever you call it, the lawnmower off the trailer and trying to get fields dug and lines done. I'm thinking, yeah. man, these guys, work, they work their tail ends off. Mm -hmm. I see that because I'm the parks director, but does everybody else see that? Mm -hmm. No, they don't. Um, and that's where it needs to get brought to this board, yes. not my board, but your yes. board. Um, to, because our job at the end of the day is that's why I'm hired. That's why I'm here. If I want to do something else, I go do restaurants again or whatever. But anyway, my job as a parks director is to provide those facilities. We don't really make money. Sometimes we sustain um, mm -hmm. and we try to make up some money. But those are things we got. And people want recreation. I just talked to these people out there at Dog Park today. They love what we're doing mm -hmm. so far. They want more. <laughs> they want more. Okay. Moving on. East Hall Rentals. East Hall Rental Info. Oh, I put that on there just so um, some of you all know. But um, so um, people bring up a lot about why we've changed some of the prices and some of the things we're doing over there in East Hall. Again, I'm just having a little bit of a rant here, and I sent um, Kate an email as well as Victoria. And one thing I'm doing is whoever's using the East Hall now for a rental, I'm doing a walkthrough with them and showing them what they can move and what they can't because they're destroying our assets is what they're doing. And it's on purpose. It's that people want it for East Hall. If we're going to use it as a birthday party type place and as a teen center, you can't move a pool table. It's a slate. Because when you do, you're busting my legs on the bottom of it. There's a reason why I don't have a, um, my air hockey table is being held up by crates right now, which is pretty good because it's actually pretty safe. But <laughs> the legs are coming off. I mean, it doesn't look good, but I still get to save my machine right now. Um, I don't even have a ping pong table. It's been completely between different groups. They move it. It breaks. It's $170. I'm working with Terry. I just worked with him this morning. I'm building me one out of wood. This station that sits there will probably cost me, I don't know, 200 bucks maybe. And that, so if you hear that come back from people, they use, I don't have any issues with your groups or your groups or anyone. It's the rentals that are, they're wanting to do different things there and they're moving all of our stuff. And again, they're moving our assets is what they're doing. Is that something like you could put in the price? Like, that maybe like you and Kane, like you know, if you plan on moving, check this box. Tell us what you need. We to are working where. with Kate on that, to where we're going to put a deposit kind of thing, I think, on there. <coughs> um, and then what we're doing is any group that I don't know of, that um, I don't know who they are, they're coming. They have to do a walkthrough with me. Yes. And the walkthrough is that right there. Don't touch it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't move. And if you can't live by that rule, then don't rent. It. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I hate to be that way about are it. Are there other cameras in that hall? Uh -huh. There is. Okay. So, and I don't think it's, they but people are meaning to do it. It's just there. They, you get two people, it's not their assets. They move the it. And you see what I'm saying? When you move stuff as much as you move, that's why my legs are off mm -hmm. of things. Because you start moving. It's not even my teenagers. And teenagers are pretty rough. But it's not even, I mean, they do some stuff too. But it's mainly for moving stuff, you know, and so yeah, it's not good for I'm your, trying to make stuff a little bit more temporary. So that's why I put that on there. Yeah. Okay. 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 You're in highlight. All right. So I have Victoria. This is just a little thing I did for uh, the state. So I'm not really required anymore, but my first two years I've retired to do a uh, report to the state. If you just look through this, it's something for y'all to take home. This is just a big um, proud moment for the board and for Parks and Rec. You know, you look at where we were. And where what we've done just in the past, most of this is just from the past year, but some of this stuff started about two years ago. And it's just kind of highlights of where Parks and Rec is um, now and where we want to go in the future. Again, I'm trying to give you all some media. If, uh, you know, show it to your friends or something like that. Hey, you didn't know about this? You didn't know about this? Again, I sent this to the state with a nice um, two-page uh, letter just showing the state, hey, I appreciate what you guys did when you gave us money. For this grant that you know put the parks and recreation director position here um i got lots of responses back from different people in the state saying it's a great job uh, looks like you guys are really moving forward and doing things so i do that because i want the state to see what their money right. went towards when they put money into this program 
and showing them where we're at. You know, small town on where we've become. So I did a whole year-end report that I had Victoria do that we put into the uh, um, stay of the city type thing is what we did. Well, the next time you do one of these, let me know. I have a bonding machine that will bond this with the spiral band. We'll have one here too. Oh, do you? Okay. Cool. I know that Patty's going to do that with this one. There's one in here. That she's gonna, Patty Hens is going to take this one in here. Yeah. She wants to put that in there. And it's just a thing of showing where Parks and Rec was um, and, and where we're going and, and, and the different things we've done. And when you really look through this for the budget that we have and the staffing that we have, um, we've got a lot done. We really have. And this is not even everything. This is just. Uh, I think I only pulled like six months worth. Yeah, I, I had like Victoria pull month like a couple months worth um, just so I could send it to the state. So it's kind of a proud moment when I started looking at what we've done and what we've accomplished already. Um, we've done a lot. I mean, we, 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 we've done a lot, but um, we're not finished. If you're like me, I want to be a winner and I want to move forward, and I want to be the best out there. Um, I want to be better than, than Franklin, and they've got money coming out of their ears, so um, we got a lot of <laughs> competition there. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got two more items that I just added to the agenda. <laughs> uh, well, um, Victoria added one of them, she reminded me. Father-daughter dance, we have that already listed on the um, reserve, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I'll put it on their What's last the date on that? February 18th. So it's January, so uh, yeah, we're going to need to go ahead and figure <laughs> that out. Start talking about it, yeah. It's February 15th? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, like, so that's February 15th. So what do I need to do? What do you all want me to do? Um, I, I got funding. I got Here's budget for it, so I got money in there. So yes. whatever we need to do. We're a big and I'll say bring them daggone beads out because I ain't doing it. No. <laughs> They're not ever coming back. No. Ever. No. Uh -huh. No. 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 Ever, ever. No Orbeez. Yeah, but it would be nice to see you dressed up as Cupid in a big diaper. Is it our same time? Are we doing the same time, 5.30 to 7.30? Or do we? It don't matter. Thomas will just put whatever. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to, uh, we do it, uh, whatever you do, and if you'll get that um, approved, then um, I'll get you paper. Okay, let's well, see. We did mother, son, 5 to 7. It don't matter what's on that paper. Yeah, that's for sure. Hey, hey, now. Okay. I never said I was perfect. I said I was near perfect. <laughs> okay. Mary Poppins. Okay. Okay. Near perfect. Okay. Mary okay. Well. I ain't Philip. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. I don't have it in my calendar five to seven. Yeah. Let's. Um, <laughs> oh, you want to five to seven? I think it works pretty good. That works. There's something else that. So five to seven. Yeah. Let's do five to seven. That's what I'm writing down. Five to seven. And once you get the uh, diet or the little thing, send it mm -hmm. to Victoria actually. Okay. And that way she'll get it to Haywood, and they'll put it up on okay. the thing, and we'll get okay. it in this thing for next month. Yeah. Five to seven. Nothing. Yeah. Do what? I can get it in like the next two yeah, days. Yeah, I can. I have to have it in for February first. Just it, I'll just. Change the date in my computer. You gonna take care of the food? Yes. What dance All that is this? stuff. Father, <laughs> no. daughter. Father, daughter. So yes. I had to dance with this one. Yes. Um, you want me to look at anything for like the table decoration? We don't really we, have anything. We where where do we know? Well, we we got the the cup. The center thing. The center thing, but we're not. I mean, what are we gonna put them in them this time? Um, you can put like just some like fluorescent like little lights. I mean. Lights. Maybe, yeah. You know, those little conversation cards. Or There's else. a Dollar Tree here in town now. Yeah. I got those sure lights. They have something they can yeah. put in there. Okay. Do you have light bulbs and those lights dollar. to like go on the wall? One dollar. I will work with something that. Happens. I'll double check them. I think I might be missing one. So I don't have mine that projects okay. the hearts because my dog got out of the pen and he chewed okay. it up. Mm -hmm. All right. So, What's the project now? My mom had nothing. <laughs> exactly. If so look it if up. we can look for, because that was pretty cool. That that heart one, like my mom has like a snowflake one. We could still do that one if we need to too. It's winter time. It's not yeah, heart. Sure. Her snowflake one is it one that you pull a disc out and you change the disc? I don't know. I used hers I and so. Kaylee's last time. <coughs> Haley's is just it's just um, red and it's different colors. And mom's might be the same then. So that backdrop thing I have over there, you've seen it, I think, didn't you? That big whiteboard, you don't want to use that for the backdrop this time? It's a little bit thinner than what you guys are used to this way. It's not as wide, but someone left it over there from one of the Kinsey eras, and everybody's been using it as a backdrop. <laughs> it's wooden. It's just white. It's just. It's white, and we'll just put a sheet type thing over top of it. Okay. But everybody's been using can it as a backdrop. Can you get a measurement 
exactly on that and get it to Lindsay and then she yeah, can know to either order one or two mm -hmm. of whatever we're going to use. What are we doing behind the background this year? Whatever you find out. Something. Get a bench or something like that. We got a uh, photographer. Not, not that heavy thing you got last time from Sandy Roberts. Was that... Was, oh, yeah. that, the, the, it was so the cheap. Chair. That was the heaviest thing I've ever seen. Sorry. Yeah. It was pretty, but yeah, it's heavy. Who, yeah. What about photography? Um, whatever. Are you available or you would mm -hmm. rather let somebody else do it? I'll be there. Okay. Just whatever, just because our fishing don't start back till March. Okay. So you're going to be able to do photography? I know pictures. We'll just get her some helpers. Um, Please. Anna Grace can probably. What do you need me to do? Get some lights out. I'll be dancing. Uh, there you go. Missy put me down. I'll bring the plate. Okay. Damn. Yes. Yeah, because last yeah. I, we can we, last time you know, she was I gave you somebody know. my camera and told them to have it. Yeah. And I had but if we can have, on, we can have on the that, inside. dude, that would be good for her to take like some candy. Hey, you want to start a new? Okay. What do you say? Cup. Spotify list. Plate or? Yeah. Whatever you want. We need update. We need update. So. Um, like the little I'll work on what I'll share it. And then I've got matches with the pink and purple and parts on them. I bought them after last year. I'll make those on mine. I can make it off my Spotify and then just share it to your account. Yes. Okay, so you can do that? I'll take care of it. Okay, cool. Songs, April. I'll just show up. You're short, so you can dance for me, bro. I'll get your food. And Um. You want me to have look for something, some type of little cool table oh, decoration yeah. type thing, maybe on Amazon? At the dollar store, I uh, try the Dollar Tree first. I bet right now the Dollar Tree has cute little values. Okay. I bet they have. Victoria, can you help me on that? I'm not very good with stuff like that. I love it. A no, table type like of decoration type beauty. thing. Everything. Why do you assume because I'm a girl and good at that? Yeah. I'm not good with yeah, it. Guys, I get in love with her all the time. I'll go look. Yes, I will. I love it. Okay, April's going to look for I'll food. Look. I'll look. I'll be glad to help. I don't mind doing decorations. And she uh, doesn't put decorations out. I don't like a lot of you. Okay, if we find something, do y'all have an Amazon you account? Love it. At the, I do. Yes. So if you at find some on Amazon, print it out or just uh, send it where it is, all you got to do is go to Kelly. You don't have like a cart I can put it in? Um, it's on Kelly's account. You'll have to email City me account. Okay. Everything goes through her now. Well, just, I'll put it on mine and then I'll get it printed out. April, you, if you put some stuff on there, let me know and I'll print it out and get it to Kelly. Yeah. If it's not at the dollar store, it's fine. And I'm just looking for table decorations, right? Yeah, like, I'll probably find them all at the dollar store. I think so too. But if you find, when, when you do, do need to look for some lights because that's one thing, it's usually kind of dark at the tables themselves. I have those little battery operated tea lights. If you want them. We could put those. Yeah, definitely. I got a flashlight. Missy, if you're going to put something in your account where you can say you're going to pay for it and get reimbursed. No, I was saying, like, I mean, I can put it in my card and then I can send it to your card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll just do it the old fashioned way, like print it out. Okay, and that way I'll give it to her. Because otherwise I can use my credit card when I kind of get in trouble for no, that a little okay. bit. The decoration. <laughs> I don't go by code all the time. Okay, and I'll look for some things too. Cool. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Um, are you get, can you get drinks donated, or from? Do you have any canned drinks? Could I mean, I just get the ones from Sundrop. I don't pay that much for them anyway. Okay, because that goes really well, especially the daddy daughter dance, because the daddies want to come and get like a canned drink. I'll just get all my stuff from Sundrop. Like I do, I do Sundrop RC. There's like Sun Kids. Diet Sundrop. Diet Sundrop. Um, sundrop. And then there's the Welch's grape, and there's yeah. like a Doctor Thunder, and I now I even do Yahoos. Okay, that'd be good. If you'll if you'll get the canned drinks, then I'll get the punch drinks, yeah. the water. I'll take care of those. Okay, do we um, help me out with what you guys think about this? Do we want to do bottled waters? I I'm just a little I'm a little nervous about bottled waters. I feel like we're gonna throw a lot away. But there are a lot of them that just want water. I mean, is it okay what we've been doing, just the jugs of water and putting it in a little thing and letting them get water? I have I have the, the big things with the spigot. Yeah. You want that? I'll April has. I can get four or five of those. Yeah, April has a few of those too. I think we'll just do that. I'm just like three or four. You can make punch in the other one. Yeah. Not have to dip it. You just yeah. We could do that. Yeah. Just do because it. it I mean. It never gets low enough for the ice cream. It's going to be spilled well, I everywhere. I mean, I would, that is don't waste too much of your spice. Yeah. 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 Just add in there and just give it flavor. Yeah, just give it a little flavor. So that's okay. Okay. Yeah, All right, so I just get the bar. I'll just get the bar. Okay. All right, anybody else have anything on Daddy's Daughter? 
Yeah, um, I will say this. Um, try to be there, even if you can't be there the whole time. Just help us start, <coughs> help us clean up clean at the up. end. You know, that that's kind of always the biggest time. The middle of the time, we're just kind of sitting there, you know, filling our thumbs. But start up and clean up. Clark and Kane, if I can be there. Huh? Clark and Kane, if I can be there. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. What, uh, what time when's do you your, be there? Start it, like, set up. Uh, when's that dancing? You Don't you have something going on? Like the high school thing. Ours is, um, it's not me. But it's, it's, uh, it's not really me either. It's the seniors are doing it for their senior trip, but it's the 25th. Okay, that, that's the one Saturday. in February, the like that yeah. little dance mm -hmm. thing. That mm -hmm. No. Is there um, a dance thing coming up? It's a, uh, there, there's a dance, a, a semi-formal winter dance. Yeah, the formal winter the dance. The 25th. Okay, cool. Yeah, of January. I just want to make sure we um, Yeah, but 3.30 is usually plenty of time. That gives us a good hour because people will start getting there at like 4.30. Um, well, I'll get the lights right, put up. We need that. some, um, I'll get Anna Grace to bring some people. I think Mila will come again. She will. I'll get Anna Grace and her friends and if, um, Mila and maybe a friend. Unless they're cheering her DI in. Yeah, I don't know if there's a ball game that night or not. Yeah, man, it'd be the only thing. Is okay. there any DI stuff going on that week? I That's don't right. have anything. I have no idea at all, ways, man. Out yet. The, yeah, um, I have seen all ways. Uh, possibly, but not that I know of, unless it's like a that instant challenge thing. But no, the uh, region tournament is the 29th, and the state tournament is. April the 4th. So. Alright, so I'll put Anna Grace and Friends and Mila and Friends. Alright. Anything else on that? I got one more quick thing on the list. Alright, okay. Last thing I have on the list is um, just so y'all know, we um, we moved uh, Thunder Over Murray to uh, not on Missy's vacation. Thanks. But we moved it to May 16th. So wow. it's going to be on Armed Forces okay, um, my vacation. Saturday weekend. Not yep. just my vacation. Yeah. Yeah. I know, other people You're the one that won every year. So we moved it to May 16th. Everybody's still in school. They're graduating that, that week. Yeah. But uh, May 16th is Armed Forces Day. I will tell you, um, this is going a little bit different for uh, next year. We're trying to get a uh, talk with the National Guard today. They're very interested in getting some, maybe some helicopters out, trying to help me out any way they can to try to make it. Uh, they're going to kind of use it as more of a recruiting type thing. Mm -hmm. I kind of went on a little thing when I was down there and, and Missy, maybe you can prove me wrong, but um, I told him, I said, you know, my concern with this area around here is that I had a lot of kids last year that were graduating in high school, and I asked them when they were over at the center, what are you going to be doing? And I don't know, probably just going working down the street. And that concerned me, and I said, and he's like, really? I was like, yeah, I was like, my concern is, is maybe we can get, we can show some of these people that we have some military options and doing different things, and um, Maybe show them that there's a military to go into because they don't know that. We're not really pushing that. I don't know. Maybe we are. I, mean, I don't see it. We have recruiters that come, but they usually just kind of sit up in the cafeteria and the yeah. kids go to them kind of thing. It's not them really reaching out mm -hmm. to the kids. Well, the National Guard guy was very well, concerned. I don't about know it. about the National Guard. I, I don't know if that... And well, I, when I, I told him, told him that, he was like, yeah, that, that really stinks. Uh -huh. he, I said, yeah. I said, I got kids because they don't have cars. Their parents may not have a lot of money and like... I'm trying to show them different options. I'm like, man, what do you mean? You're you're a senior. You're graduating. You don't no, know. You're not going to school. You're not going to tech school. You're you're just going to go mop floors or start with down yeah. the street. I don't like that idea. Yeah. You know. So and he they're going to kind of look at you. I said maybe it'd be a time for you to show some of the equipment that you guys can bring in. And he said, man, that's great. So he's all about it. Um, he's trying to get with his regional type guy. So I did work with them today on that, and I'm trying to um, turn that into a little bit different event. Plus, I think it'll be a little bit Cooler, maybe. <laughs> May uh, 16th. I do. do you have a, t a time? Uh, it looks like it'll be 2 o'clock on, so we still got the fireworks. 2, two to like 9, 3, whatever. Fireworks will be going on, food trucks, all that. My first board meeting is um, sometime at the end of this next month. I've got scheduled. And then you're going to have more stuff. I'm sorry? We're going to start at 2 o'clock. You're going to have more stuff going on to get people there, right? Yes. And I've got other ideas to get um, to get more people there too. I think one of the things was it was it was during vacation weeks. Um, it was hot. It was hot. Um, and this Very is hot. I, I'm meeting. I'll go ahead and tell y'all um, because y'all have Park and Rec board. But I'm meeting tomorrow with Kate, Aaron, Jaggers, and um, Donna, and they don't really know what I'm meeting about. But <laughs> one of the things I'm kind of bringing up is that. Again, um, our job is to, as Parks and Recreation, our job is to provide activities. 
and I know we got a fence down there, but I don't really know why we should charge. I'm kind of going away from that right now for that because I want to bring people in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you open up the event, it's free. Then if I got to work harder and try to go find more sponsorship, yep. then a $200 sponsorship from Chick Fil A and McDonald's and yep. Arby's and Wendy's and everybody in Columbia should be able enough to be able to pay for. Um, and have an open event, and, yep. and maybe I'm wrong. I don't no, know. No, and I feel yeah, like get more people there. If you look at the, our, our y'all feel that way because I can. I mean, think about this. <laughs> I gotta pay twenty dollars to get me and my family in. Yep. That's twenty dollars I could have given my kid to, at a food truck or mm -hmm. at a bouncy house yep. or this mm -hmm. or that, and I'm thinking, okay, I can just sit over here and watch the fireworks for free and give you no money. Mm-hmm. Or I could come in uh, and spend my twenty dollars yeah. on your food truck. And again, yeah, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because these conferences I go to, I I I, I do go out a lot at night. I'm not gonna lie, but I go to these classes, and <laughs> the things I'm learning is that why are we charging for certain events? It's not just a concert where you're coming in. That's a different story. Right. But when you're a city and you're putting on an event, then um, you know make it to where you get sponsorships, get the city to back it. If it costs twenty thousand dollars. And so be it. You put twenty thousand dollars. That's their tax dollars, and you get them to come out mm -hmm. and enjoy the event to be able to do the things. And that's what I'm kind of trying to aim at. And so um, I'm bringing it up to you guys because I'm going to bring it up to them tomorrow because they're the part on my the executive board mm -hmm. um, for that. And so I kind of called a meeting together before I have my first main I'm meeting with tomorrow? Bedford and all my committee type right people. You're freaking me out. Um, and again, I get myself in some situations sometimes. You bring another to me tomorrow, but Thomas. that's our job. My job is to provide. Your job is to provide activities for people who want to do, and I think we can really have a different turnout number. And then what we do in the future is these vendors that we're only charging a hundred dollars to, you charge them twenty percent of their sales. Yeah. So because then they're going to get more people. If I'm opening up a free event, more people are going to come in and spend money mm -hmm. at your Chick Fil A booth, at your Taco Tico booth, whatever. Mm -hmm. More people are going to spend money on that, and so then you make a little bit more money off the vendors yeah. and your sponsorships. It should be paid for through the city sponsorships and what have you. And well, we don't charge for the barbecue festival. No, we don't. No. Oh, so I don't know which direction that'll go, but that's we don't charge for barbecue festival. How, how much? How much cost to do thunder? Like, um, I think last year we had um, sixteen grand maybe into it. Is what we have into it, maybe between the bands, the stages, and all that different stuff. And again, one guy I talked to that's uh, down, you go towards Chattanooga, and you go off about 45 minutes off to the left somewhere down there um, in Oak Ridge. And I don't think it's Oak Ridge, somewhere way down that way, Oakland or something. And his town, he's a small town, he's like 7,000 people, and they are all about events, is what they do. He has an $86,000 budget a year just for events. He has a little community center, hmm. $86,000 a year because they want to see four, at least four events done a year where it's paid for for the people to come to because that's what the city wants. Yeah. And so they invest in that $86,000 a year. Um, you know. Once again, guys, it's got to be a community desire because you got five people up here who hear things from individuals and come up here and try to relay it to each other and you get a deaf ear from your your constituent because they didn't hear it yeah they didn't hear it they and didn't I, see that there was a thing, desire um that i think we could probably use the barbecue festival as an example with your bands and i don't know how much you spent on paying bands last year but the times that we have the biggest crowds for bands are the more local bands that bring their people yeah. And I know we're wanting to bring this, I mean, this person in and that. But if they don't have a following, they're not going to come, and you're kind of wasting your money. If you're already there during that time, you may sit and listen to them. Right. Yeah. But right. that Friday night, we had Box of Rocks. It, so many people downtown. And it wasn't because of anything else that was going on. It was because of Box of Rocks. That year, about two or three years ago, we had that other band, something six or eight, or I don't even remember what it was. Buck six, buck six. They, they bring there. their people. People come to just listen to them. They're the band that Michelle was talking about that's right out of Alabama, this more country okay. style type thing. Um, she said they'd be a little bit more money, and she kind of looked at that. And we kind of told her for last year, let's get a little bit more towards what these people around here want versus the porch music that we're doing. And so we are kind of working in that direction, trying to get, I, me personally, I like more the country style 
um, you know, rock and roll. Type I just, stuff. I mean, I don't care what it is. They can be heavy metal for all I care. If they're just gonna bring people. Yep. And I think and they even this year try yeah. to get the National Guard band. She, she comes fishing here. Dude, she is at amazing. I requested the National Guard band to look at that. I don't. They might be already scheduled somewhere. So we'll see. Well, you're going to do something to get some of your vendors back because last year I'm sure kind of burnt some. They burnt the one next to me. They brought in a lot of food and didn't didn't sell hardly anything. And I don't know that. I don't remember. It was yeah. their barbecue. I want to believe they were right Some of them do, and that's why I'm saying if you open up to a free event, know, you're going to easily people. get more vendors that are going to want to come. And you just say, and, uh, and I agree free. with what April says about last year's. There may be one of those things for the ones that were here last year and did kind of not make money and lost money. If you can say not to just them, hey, we're going to give you a discount for this year because of what last happened year. last year. Because it for a lot, several hours last year, it was a flop. Yeah. And well, and, and I think a lot of that was heat, and when we had it, it was, on. It was. But I mean, also, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. my goal is is ten to fifteen thousand people, and the only reason we're going to get to that is it, and it's Murray County, mm -hmm. and it's Thunder Over Murray. The only way we're going to get to that, I think, is uh, my and like I said, I researched this, I've talked to a lot of people, and that's just what they feel, and so that's why I kind of created like, what this meeting. The one thing last year too, a lot of them was. Like as soon as you come through the gate, you've had your vendors started, so people's already getting food and they're getting here, and then they come yeah. and say, "Oh, well, I've already bought food here, but I wish I knew you were here." Yeah, yeah, and they have forty dollars, and not they twenty put there, vendors 20 there's like right at the gate. Make them come in and then yeah. start looking. And that's why I think the gate, like you said, your family is twenty bucks to get in, Thanks. and then you got to go and. You know, it, it just needs to be an open. And vendors aren't cheap. Food vendors aren't cheap, but no. people know that coming in. Right. Um, yeah, and you're spending 20, 25 bucks and well, I guess they walk in through the door. The all right, that's all I had. Anybody else have anything? Sorry, it's a little bit longer than what I expected. I, I'll I'm make a motion we adjourn. Good, that's for me. I'll take it. Yeah. All right. I can all say turn this report. All right, I got it. Maybe you're there. Maybe you're there. Thank you, sir. Thank you a long time. Lowe's tighter. So whoever's on here is on the girl with Murray. Lowe's going to be a little bit more. I drink Buck Rock. I always hear the drink bomb. Thank you, sir. So I think it'll, like I said, it'll be a little bit more. I know or I'll be able to do it. I'll be able to do it. I'll be able to do it. Okay. 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 I'm I'm great for the park. Right. I think a lot of it is. And I have. I don't need another board to be on. I'm white now. Years ago, I did. I brought that up. We want to be more ready. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah. I have. Yeah. yeah. We think now that we've got some stuff going that I'm to be ready for some other areas. Yeah. Because it kind of like nothing down there. Because then even if you do that, because like you put doors on a bar stool because of that.